Good afternoon, everyone. Carolina Slasberg here, coming to you from So Busy Studio in Chesapeake Beach, Maryland. Um, got a few questions about walking feet and feet dogs, dual feet, and automatic walking foot. So I figured I would show you the ones that go with my machines. Um, this is your automatic walking foot. This is probably the monster of walking foot, um, walking feet, excuse me. So this goes attached to my Baby Lock Destiny behind the machine. And it aids me when I have multiple layers of fabric, whether I'm quilting or I have maybe some terry cloth or um, multiple layers of things. I do some yarn work and textile art, and this is very helpful. It's probably the biggest one that I have, and it's still a walking foot, but it's automatic with the machine. Now, just so that you know, Baby Lock does have a regular walking foot that you can attach to your machine, and it looks like this. So you would just put it on just like any other feet on your Baby Lock sewing machine. So Baby Lock does have two options. That's why I said this is like the monster truck of walking feet. Um, dual feed, I have dual feed on this machine. And what it means is that instead of the walking foot, I have, let me see if I can show you this. I have this lever that comes down to aid me in my garment and my quilting and any other type of sewing that I want to use this dual feed on. So this is not a walking foot. This is a dual feet on my um, Bernina 780. So when I engage it, it's engaged now. I put my foot down and it's ready to go. So this is dual feed, okay? This is another um, walking foot. This one is uh, by Singer, but I just wanted to show you that there are many, many different types of walking feet. So they're out there and they will help you sew and quilt a lot better on bigger tougher items so try to make your life easier they're readily available in anywhere any type of um sewing machine shop or joann's amazon has some i've seen them at walmart although not that often but they're not that expensive you guys so you can get them anywhere anymore and um as far as feed dogs and this is kind of trivial to a lot of you, but a lot of the people that are following me and asking these questions are new to sewing, guys. So please bear with me. So the feed dogs, put this up. Can I put this up? No, because I have to put my foot up. Sorry about that. Okay, so these are your feed dogs on your sewing machine right there. And in order for your fabric to feed, they have to go down ev evenly. So my machine won't sew without my um, attachments. But this is your feed dog. This is your walking feet. This one is automatic. Does the um, little cord on it. And this is your dual. Okay, so the dual one is attached to the machine. There are many new machines that come with your dual feed. It is not a walking foot. This is your automatic walking foot. This is your regular foot. And this is dual feed. And thank you for your questions. I really do um, enjoy getting my goodies out and sharing my knowledge with you. But um, keep them coming. And um, if you're interested, on, I had a few of you that asked about the pattern for the, um, the, the apron that I made last week. And um, actually, it was this week, I think. Anyways, um, I can do a tutorial on that as well. I am currently making one for my baby lock. And I just like to wear 
the I love aprons, first of all. So I like to wear the coordinated apron with whatever machine I'm using. Why? Just because I can and I love to sew. But um, if you're interested in that pattern, I do self-draft most of my patterns. I, I was taught that way by my grandmother on newspaper. So most of the things that I make for myself are by sight. And I just draft them out. And um, I go from there. But I do have a pattern out for these two aprons that I will be sharing with you next week. So I hope that you're looking forward to it. Because I'm looking forward to showing you um, the pattern. So have a great weekend, everyone. And again, this is Carolina Slasberg coming to you from So Busy Studio on Chesapeake Beach. Bye now.